نحمد و نسل علی رسول الکریم اما بعد فعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم و ننزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء و رحمۃ للمؤمنین ولا یزید ظالمین اللہ خسارا صدق اللہ مولان العظیم و صدقنا رسول النبی الامین الکریم ان اللہ و ملا اکتہ صلون النبی یا ایوہ الزین آمن و صلو علیہ وسلم و تسلیمہ اللہ صلی اللہ سیدنا مولانا محمد عبد کا و رسول کا و صلی اللہ المنی نولمنات ولمسلم نولمسلمات السلاۃ وسلام علیہ کیا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ و علیٰ علیہ و اصحاب ہی و ازواج ہی و ضروریات ہی و اہل بیت ہی اجمائین السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی رسپیکٹڈ ایلڈرز بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز ان اسلام آئی ویلکم یو ونس اگین آن دی اشفی چینل آن دس روحانی علاج اسپریچل ٹریٹمنٹ پروگرام آن وی آن ایپیسوڈ سکس اگین دا کوشچنز دا ٹویلو کوشچنز وی ہیو ٹو ڈے ول ریکوائر سم ایکسپلینیشن سو وی گن گیٹ اسٹریٹ ڈاؤن ٹو دیم ان شاء اللہ تعالیٰ العزیز وی ہیو ٹویلو کوشچنز اگین ود دا نسبر آف آور بلو پروفیس صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ وسلم اینڈ آئی ول برنگ ٹو یو ایڈ ریمیڈیز ود ریگارڈس ٹو قرآن الکریم اینڈ دا ٹیچنگز اینڈ دا ٹیچنگز اینڈ گائیڈنس آف دا بزگان دین اینڈ دا صفیہ اکرام سو مینی بردرز اینڈ سسٹرز ہیو بین ان ٹچ ریگارڈنگ دیز کوشچنز اینڈ دا فرسٹ کوشچن از ہاؤ ٹو ریڈ آف ہائی ٹیمپریچر ناؤ آئی تھنک وی ہیو مینشن دس ان ون آف دی پریویس episodes however from al quran al karim chapter 17 so from quran al karim chapter 17 surah anbiya verses 69 has to be prayed 11 times over the patient so from quran al karim chapter 17 surah anbiya verse 69 has to be prayed 11 times over the patient now with any of these amals uh, that i mentioned again today Duru Shif to be prayed before and after. There is also a second Amal you could pray. Uh, there's this Dua which is associated with Hazrat uh, Ibrahim alayhi salam. It's an it's, it's a ayat of the Quran actually which is associated with Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam. And the ayah is, I'll read it out to you. Kulna ya naru kuni bardam wa salaman ala Ibrahim. So, Kulna ya naru kuni bardam wa salaman ala Ibrahim. And this means, or the translation is, O fire, become cool and safe on Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. So, you could also pray this ayah over the person that is um, affected, the person that has got high temperature. Also, uh, this ayah can be written on a piece of paper or a tablet or a metal plate. and hung up on the wall for protection for, from fires and also um, to put out fires this ayah can be prayed on some water and then the water to be thrown over the fire also if you have problems at home or with the if you have problems with neighbors you can write this ayah or better still you can pray this ayah over some stones and then throw the stones over the garden or into the neighbor's property uh, you can also bless some mustard seeds with this ayah so pray this ayah again 11 times do shave before and after do your near so if your uh, neighbors are hot tempered for example then you can pray this ayah over the stones or the mustard seeds and then just put them into the garden or the house of your neighbor or whoever you want to befriend. Inshallah ta'ala al-Aziz. Question number two. Now again, we've had this a similar question before in one of the previous episodes. Ease du- during labor. So ease with pain during delivery and labor. Now, we have had questions in the past where uh, we've mentioned remedies for ease with delivery, but this is slightly different. This is to ease pain during delivery. So in this instance, the Buzugan Adin and the Sufiya Ikram have advised that you pray Ya Allahu 101 times over refined sugar, so um, what we call gur in Urdu. 
So it's Ya Allahu 101 times over refined sugar and then this to be taken by the pregnant woman. Question number three. Right, so for protection, sorry, for promotion at work or to be reinstated to a job you have lost. So to be reinstated to a job you've been lost or a position you've lost or to be promoted at work. Now, the Buzugan Adin and the Sufi Ikram have advised from Quran al Karim, chapter 12, Surah Yusuf, to be prayed 13 times for seven days daily. So every day for seven days, you pray Surah Yusuf 13 times. The entire Surah is to be prayed, and then after uh, you finish praying the Surah, you hold your hands up in supplication, you do dua after, inshallah. Question number four. So again, a similar question, aid for success and barakah with business. Now again, we have uh, mentioned uh, a remedy for a similar question in the past for success in business. Um, people that face obstacles, uh, we advise that you write Surah Kothar, Inna A'tayna Kal Kothar, the entire Surah on a metal plate and then pin that up on the wall of your premises or your place of business. But we also have another remedy, and this is specifically for aid with success and barakah within your business. And the Sufi Ikram and the Buzugan Adin have advised that you pray Ya Rahmanu, and you pray this 292 times after every Fadr uh, compulsory prayer in the morning, Fajr Salah, and then again you do Dua after. Question number five, to be respected by everyone. So again, this could be just people in the household, it could be people at work again, could be um, if you're studying, it could be your uh, colleagues at school or college or university. In any case, the Buzugan Adin and the Sufiya Ikram have advised that again, after the morning compulsory farz, Fajr Salah, you pray Ya Rahimu, so Ya Rahimu to be prayed 500 times and then again you raise your hands in supplication for dua after. Please remember to pray Durushi before and after any of these amal. Question number six. So aid to keep away or remedy to keep away from bad company and illegitimate work. So the Sufiya Ikram and the Buzukan Adin have advised that you try to stay in ablution, in the wudu, as much as you can throughout the day, for as long as you can. And pray Ya Kuddusu, so Ya Kuddusu, which is an attribute of uh, Rabbi Qadir. So you pray Ya Kuddusu as much as possible in the day, and then again at the end of the day when you come home or when the day is over, you pray uh, du'a, you, you, you raise your hands in supplication again and do du'a for um, aid to keep away from bad company and illegitimate work. However, this is to be prayed by the individual himself or herself and nobody else can do this prayer for them, ideally. However, if that person doesn't keep away from illegitimate work or bad company and a mother, a brother, a husband, a sister, somebody else wants to pray this amal for them, then um, by all means they can do that and pray that Allah Ta'ala gives them hidayah, gives them tawfiq to stop whatever they are doing that is illegitimate or to give up any bad company, inshallah. Now that's the end of our sixth question. Inshallah ta'ala al-Aziz will take a short break and then I will return to you with the further six questions. Jazakallahu khair, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Allah ke rasool, huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ne farmaya, jo koi bhi ilm hasil karne ya karwane ke raaste aage badha, Allah uske liye jannat ka raasta آسان کر دیتا ہے 
مدنی اسلامک اسٹڈی سینٹر اینڈ سابری ایجوکیشن ٹرسٹ کرچن آپ کا تہ دل سے استقبال کرتا ہے یہ سینٹر انڈیا کے گجرات اسٹیٹ میں وڑودرا ضلع میں کرچن ٹاؤن جونا بازار سید نگر میں اسٹیبلش ہے یہ سینٹر حضور شیخ الاسلام سید محمد مدنی اشرفی الجیلانی کی چھوچوی دامت برکات العالیہ ولقدسیا کے حکم سے نو دسمبر انیس سو چورانوے میں قائم ہوا اس کے ماتحت سابری ہائی سکول قائم کی گئی ہے جس میں نرسری سے لے کر بارہویں سٹینڈرڈ تک کی تعلیم گجراتی میڈیم اور مرکز پبلک سکول میں کے جی سے دسویں سٹینڈرڈ تک کی تعلیم انگلش میڈیم میں دی جاتی ہے اس سینٹر میں تریسٹھ گاؤں سے اسٹوڈنٹس ٹریول کرتے ہیں ڈیلی اپ ڈاؤن کرنے والے اسٹوڈنٹس اور ہاسٹل میں رہنے والے گیارہ سو سے زیادہ اسٹوڈنٹ اکیڈیمک ایجوکیشن دینی ایجوکیشن ڈیجیٹل ایجوکیشن اور کمپیوٹر جیسی بہتر تعلیم حاصل کر رہے ہیں یہاں بغیر ڈونیشن اور کسی طرح کی کوئی کاسٹ یا کمیونٹی کا فرق کیے بغیر کم سے کم فیس لے کر ہر ایک کو ایڈمیشن دے کر ایجوکیشن کو بڑھانے کی کوشش کی جاتی ہے کیونکہ ہمارا مقصد زیادہ سے زیادہ ایجوکیشن لوگوں تک پہنچانا ہے دور دراز کے اسٹوڈنٹس ایجوکیشن لے سکیں اس لیے اس سینٹر میں سمنانی بوائز ہاسٹل قائم کیا گیا ہے جس میں اسٹوڈنٹس کے لیے ضروری فیسلٹیز پرووائڈ کی گئی ہیں جس کا فائدہ پورے گجرات سے آنے والے اسٹوڈنٹس کو پہنچ رہا ہے الحمدللہ ہمارے اس سینٹر میں پچیس سال میں اٹھارہ ہزار سے زیادہ اسٹوڈنٹس نے ایجوکیشن حاصل کیا ہے اور آج انڈیا کے الگ الگ حصے میں کئی سارے سٹیٹس میں اور ابراڈ میں بھی جیسے کہ آئرلینڈ یو کے افریقہ سنگاپور آسٹریلیا اور کینیڈا جیسی کنٹریز میں اپنا کریئر بنائے ہوئے ہیں اور بہتر روزگار حاصل کر رہے ہیں اس اسکول کے اسٹوڈنٹس صرف اچھی انکم ہی حاصل نہیں کرتے بلکہ اچھی ایجوکیشن سے اپنی ذہنی قوت بڑھاتے ہیں جس کا پورے سماج کو بھی کسی نہ کسی طرح سے فائدہ پہنچ رہا ہے اس سینٹر میں ایجوکیشن حاصل کرنے والے کئی سارے اسٹوڈنٹس ڈاکٹر انجینئر بی فارم فارماسسٹ ایڈوکیٹ انفارمیشن ٹیکنالوجی وغیرہ فیلڈ سے ڈگری حاصل کر کے کریئر بنا کے اپنا اور اس سینٹر کا نام روشن کر رہے ہیں اس اسکول میں پڑھنے والے اسٹوڈنٹس پورے گجرات کے کئی سارے حصے میں اسپورٹس کمپٹیشن میں حصہ لے کر اپنا مقام حاصل کیے ہیں یہ سینٹر کی جگہ اور کیمپس اسٹوڈنٹس کے لیے ایسی پسند کی گئی ہے جہاں قدرتی خوبصورتی اور کرجن ٹاؤن کے کنارے سکون دینے والا ایٹماسفیئر ہے آپ بھی اپنے بچوں کے ایڈمیشن کے لیے ہمارے سینٹر کے ایڈریس پر کانٹیکٹ کریں اور اپنے آنے والے کل کو بہتر بنائیں مدنی اسلامک اسٹڈی سینٹر اینڈ سابری ایجوکیشن ٹرسٹ جونا بازار سید نگر کرچن ضلع وڑودرا گجرات انڈیا موبائل نائن تھری سیون فور سکس فائیو سیون ٹو سیون ٹو نو تین سات چار چھ پانچ سات دو سات دو السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ محترم حضرات آپ نے جو اس کلپ میں دیکھا وہ آپ ہی کی امداد کا نتیجہ ہے ہمیں امت مسلمہ کی تعلیم کے لیے اور بھی انتظام کرنا ہے لہذا آپ حضرات انڈیا والے انڈیا کے لکھے ہوئے پتے پر اور یو کے والے یو کے کے لکھے ہوئے پتے پر امداد بھیجیں اللہ تعالیٰ کی بارگاہ میں دعا ہے کہ اللہ تعالیٰ آپ کی دی ہوئی امداد کو قبول فرمائے آپ کی روزی میں برکتیں عطا فرمائے اور ہر ایک چھوٹی بڑی چھوٹی بڑی وباؤں سے اللہ تعالیٰ آپ تمام کی حفاظت فرمائے السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ 
السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک اینڈ اگین وی ہیو سکس مور کوشچنز سو آ کوشچن نمبر سیون از چائلڈ کرائز اللہ ڈیو ٹو نظر وچ از ایول آئی سو دا سفیہ کرام اینڈ بزرگ ندین ہیو ایڈوائز ریگارڈنگ دس فار پروٹیکشن اینڈ کیو از ایڈوائز بائی دا بزرگ ندین دا رو شریف ٹو بی پرائڈ ونس بفور اینڈ آفٹر اگین and then you pray Ayatul Kursi followed by the four Kuls so that's Kul Yahul Kafirun Kul, uh, Kul Huallahu Ahad Kul A'uzu Rabbil Falak and Kul A'uzu Rabbil Nas so this to be prayed day and night three times so you pray the four Kuls three times Ayatul Kursi so you start with obviously Durushif then you pray Ayatul Kursi then you pray the four Kuls three times each and then Durushif again at the end and you pray this over the child that cries a lot due to nazar and you do this morning and evening question number eight now very interesting question obviously with regards to the covid 19 and the corona virus going around this pandemic we have somebody has asked the question a cure for someone in intensive care or in a coma. So again, with regards to this, the Buzugana Deen and the Sufiya Ikram have advised on a cure. So the Buzugana Deen have advised that you pray Ya Salamu, Ya Rahmanu 100 times over the patient or near the patient. It's advised that you sit uh, next to the patient. Now in this country, in the UK and some parts of Europe, that might be more difficult, especially if they're in intensive care. So if that is the case, you can't sit near them because so, you're supposed to sit by the head end, so as close as you can. And you pray Ya Salamu Ya Rahmanu 100, 100 times while you're sitting near them and before and after Daru Sharif. And you try to do, th- do this Amal multiple times in the day. So again, if this isn't possible to sit beside them and pray this Amal, what you can do is either pray this amal throughout the day 100 times each time as much as you can but just think of the individual failing that again you can always have their photograph in front of you and blow over the photograph inshallah ta'ala al-aziz with the barakah of these attribute names of allah jalla shanahu inshallah ta'ala al-aziz may allah ta'ala give everybody shifa and may allah ta'ala protect everybody from this pandemic question number nine To increase love and understanding amongst family or to make children more obedient or husband more loving so i'll just repeat that question to increase the love and understanding amongst family or to make children more obedient or a husband more loving so the sufiya ikram and the buzugan Deen have advised that you pray bismillah rahman rahim bismillah sharif the entire entirely or you can just pray bismillah on its own if you prefer and you don't find you have enough time in the evening so it's got to be prayed sometime in the evening or worst case whatever's convenient whatever time of the day is convenient avoiding any makru times of course so you pray either bismillah sharif in its entirety so that's bismillah rahman rahim or you pray just bismillah and you pray this 786 times Again, either picture the individual or bless the photograph after or the best way to do this amal would be to bless something sweet and then everybody in the household or the individual to consume this afterwards. Question number 10. Right, so for success with something you want to achieve and you intend to do, but obviously it's got to be something legitimate. So the Sufiya Ikram and the Buzugani Deen have advised, you pray, Ya Muhayminu, Ya Muhayminu uh, is again an attribute of Rabbi Qadir, Allah Jalla Shanahu, and it means Ya Muhayminu, so Muhayminu is the one 
who oversees his servants. So the Sufiya Ikram and Abu Zughan Adin have advised that you pray this Ya Muhaymino 101 times before and after again Durush Shif. This has to be prayed after the Fajr Salah, the compulsory morning prayer. And then again you hold your hands up in supplication, you do Dua after. Also as mentioned in one of the previous episodes, you can pray Yasin Sharif Duru Shaif once before and after and again this is ha this has to be done first thing in the morning after the compulsory Farz Fajr Salah the morning prayer Question number 11 Feel troubled with obstacles and problems caused by Seher which is magic and despite much spiritual treatment and items of protection in the home we still feel troubled so I'll just read that question out again so feel troubled with obstacles and problems caused by sihr or magic and despite much spiritual treatment and items of protection around the house we feel we still feel feel troubled so the Sufi Ikram and the Buzugan Deen have advised that first and foremost it might be possible that you may need to see a Sufi Amil if you haven't already done so. So you say you have things around the home and you have done much treatment, but has it been done by a spiritual leader, a spiritual guide or a Sufi Amil? If it hasn't, then seek assistance from them. Secondly, do Fatiha to our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Sahaba Ikram, Umbi Ikram and the Buzugan Adin on a regular basis and obviously read Durood and Salat on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as much as possible in the day. And finally pray Astaghfirullah so you could pray Astaghfirullah Rabbi min kulli zambiyun wa atubu ilayh Astaghfirullah Rabbi min kulli zambiyun wa atubu ilayh and this has to be prayed as much as possible throughout the day pray Duru Shaif before and after so these three things if you find that you have had uh, much treatment with regards to your obstacles and your problems that you face at home or at work or in your daily activities or in your life or with your family members and you have done much treatment you have many items of shifa and cure and protection around the house in the form of amulets or tawizat and if you still feel troubled then the buzugana deen have advised that first of all if you haven't been treated by a sufi amil or a spiritual guide then please see one and seek their advice secondly pray salat and salam and on our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as much as possible and do Fatiha on a regular basis on our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the Awliya Ikram, Ambiya Ikram and the Buzugan Adin and finally pray Astaghfar as much as possible in the day and you can pray this um, verse Astaghfirullah Rabbi min kulli zambiyun wa atubu ilayh and again Duru Shaif before and after Right, the final question for today is regarding istikhara. Some uh, a brother has asked that they would like me to recommend them uh, a tariqa, a way of doing istikhara. Istikhara is a form of guidance, it's a method we use, which is a sunnah of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to give us guidance through some sort of um, actions or a dream and normally it consists of praying uh, Salat, praying Namaz and then followed by Dua and some verses but there's so many different methods. I have also been asked to recommend a Tariqa so the Tariqa I would recommend and a Tariqa that we use ourselves in the Ashrafi Silsila is Istikhara Ghosia now istikhara ghosia if you are ashafi already then this tariqa will be mentioned in the sajda sharif that you have been given it will also be available in lataif -e ashraf so lataif -e ashafi if you have that book or can get hold of that book the entire method will be in there 
Also failing all of that, if you go to our website acgtrust.org, you will find the method, the tariqa of doing istikhara ghosia on our website. However, this is a very, very long, lengthy topic and very difficult to explain in a short period of time. So what I would, what I intend to do is in our next episode, I will cover istikhara on its own. So the whole episode will be regarding istikhara and um, in particular istikhara gosia. I will cover the method of performing istikhara gosia, and I will also show you some of the things that you may find difficult to understand from the text that you read. So istikhara gosia is a bit difficult to understand if you're just reading the text. It is something that needs to be taught. So inshallah ta'ala ul aziz, Allah willing, in the next episode I will cover istikhara. So there won't be 12 questions inshallah in the next episode. We will cover istikhara and inshallah I will cover the method of istikhara gosia. So that's all for now. Jazakallahu khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu wa akhiru da'wana